Scene script. Have you ever wondered how inflation can impact your investment portfolio? Well, let's dive right in. Inflation, in simple terms, is the rate at which the general level of prices for goods and services is rising. It's like an invisible thief that gradually erodes your purchasing power over time. Now, why does this happen? The causes of inflation are complex and multifaceted, but they fundamentally boil down to two primary factors, demand pull and cost push inflation. Demand pull inflation occurs when demand for goods and services exceeds their supply. On the other hand, cost push inflation happens when the costs of production, such as wages and raw materials, increase, causing producers to raise prices to maintain their profit margins. And how does inflation impact the economy and your investments? Let's start with cash. It may seem safe and liquid, but during inflationary periods, it's like holding a melting ice cube. The value of your cash diminishes as the cost of goods and services rise, so if you were planning to just stash your money under your mattress, you might want to reconsider. Next up, fixed-rate interest bonds. These are essentially loans you give to governments or corporations, and in return, they promise to pay you a fixed interest over a certain period. However, the catch here is that if inflation accelerates, the fixed interest you receive will buy less and less, falling behind the rising cost of living. So, if cash and fixed-rate bonds are not wise investments during inflation, what are? A gold and silver, the traditional hedges against inflation, may seem like safe havens. But are they? They shimmer, they shine, they've been sought after for centuries. But when the financial climate changes and inflation rears its head, does their luster fade? Let's delve into their role during inflation. Historically, gold and silver have served as a kind of financial insurance policy. They tend to hold their value over time, so when inflation accelerates and the purchasing power of cash declines, these precious metals can serve as a refuge. They're like a lifeboat, keeping you afloat in a stormy sea of devaluing currency. But here's the catch. While gold and silver typically keep up with inflation, they are unlikely to outperform it. Sure, they can help preserve your wealth, but they're not the best at growing it. Think of them as the tortoise in the race. They're steady reliable but they're not going to sprint ahead and win you the race now this doesn't mean you should shun gold and silver entirely they can add diversification to your portfolio and in a world of financial uncertainty having a variety of investments can be a wise move but if your goal is to outpace inflation and generate real returns you may need to look beyond these shiny assets so if the glittering allure of gold and silver isn't the answer to inflation where does that leave us the answer might surprise you. It's not found in a gold mine or a silver vault, but in the realm of productive assets. We're talking about stocks, businesses, assets that can produce goods, services and profits. While gold and silver can provide a safety net, they may not offer the best return on investment during inflation. So where should you place your bets? Stay tuned as we explore the power of productive assets in the next scene. Scene script. Productive assets, such as stocks and businesses, can be the knights in shining armor during inflation. But why is that so? Well, productive assets have an innate potential to outperform inflation and generate a genuine return. Let's break it down. When we talk about productive assets, we're referring to things like stocks and businesses. These are assets that have the capacity to generate income or increase in value over time. Let's take stocks, for instance. Stocks represent ownership in a company, and as the company grows and becomes more profitable, so does the value of your stocks. In an inflationary environment, companies often raise their prices to keep up with the increasing costs. This can lead to increased revenues and potentially higher profits, which can boost the value of the stocks. Now, let's talk about businesses as a productive asset. When you own a business, you have the power to adjust your prices in response to inflation. If your costs increase due to inflation, you can raise your prices accordingly to maintain your profit margins. This ability to respond to inflation is a powerful tool that can help your business stay profitable during inflationary periods. But not all stocks or businesses are created equal. When choosing which to invest in during inflationary times, you want to look for companies with low capital requirements and strong pricing power. A company with low capital requirements doesn't need to constantly reinvest large amounts of money back into the business to grow. This means more of their profits can be returned to you, the investor. 
On the other hand, companies with strong pricing power can easily raise prices for their goods and services without losing customers. This can be particularly advantageous during inflation as it allows these companies to maintain or even increase their profit margins. So while inflation can erode the value of cash and fixed rate bonds, productive assets like stocks and businesses can not only keep up with inflation but potentially outperform it. Investing in productive assets can offer a real return during inflation, but how can you ensure you're making the right choices? Well, that's a topic for our next scene. Stay tuned. Investing in yourself is perhaps the best protection against inflation, but how does that work? Picture this. You've honed a unique skill or mastered a craft that's in high demand. You've become the go-to expert in your field and your services are sought after. You have the power to set your price and your clients are willing to pay because they value your expertise. This, my friends, is the ultimate inflation protection. Inflation, at its core, erodes the value of money. But if you've invested in yourself, in your skills and talents, you can effectively hedge against inflation. Here's the trick. As inflation pushes prices up, it also pushes up the value of your services. If you're the best at what you do, you can raise your rates to match or even surpass the rate of inflation. Now you might be thinking, but isn't this just about making more money? Not quite. It's about making a real return on your investment. In this case, the investment in yourself. Consider this. Let's say you've invested time and money into becoming a top-notch graphic designer. As inflation rises, so does the value of your design services. You're not just keeping pace with inflation, you're outpacing it. That's a real tangible return on your investment. But there's more to investing in yourself than just boosting your earning potential. It's also about personal growth and fulfillment. It's about pushing your boundaries, expanding your horizons and unlocking new opportunities. It's about becoming the best version of yourself. So how do you start investing in yourself? It could be as simple as learning a new skill, pursuing a passion, or taking on new challenges at work. It could be going back to school, getting certified in your field, or simply dedicating time each day to self-improvement. Remember, the goal isn't just to make more money. It's to create a sustainable long-term strategy that helps you thrive in an inflationary environment. Inflation can be a daunting challenge for investors, but with the right strategies and investments, you can not only protect your portfolio, but also come out ahead. Inflation can seem like a formidable foe, but it's not invincible. Let's recap what we've explored today. We've learned that cash and fixed rate bonds are not your best bet during inflation. Why? Because inflation gnaws away at the value of cash over time and the interest rates on these bonds struggle to keep pace with inflation. Next, we examined gold and silver. While they may not be terrible choices, they're not exactly the stars of the show either. They're likely to just keep up with inflation rather than outperform it. Then we delved into the world of productive assets like stocks and businesses. These are the real champions in an inflationary environment. They can potentially outperform inflation, yielding a real return. We discussed how to choose businesses with low capital requirements and strong pricing power. These are your golden tickets. Finally, we touched upon the ultimate inflation protection, investing in yourself. If you're the best at what you do, you can charge what you please, and that's a power inflation can't touch. Remember, the best defense against inflation is a strong offense. So equip yourself with the right investment strategies and watch your portfolio grow even in the face of inflation.